and it seems like Michael Grade is a headliners fan. Yes, and this is Ofcom chair Michael Grade uh, says TV has become exploitative, patronizing, and cruel. Yay! Yay! I mean, he's still involved in tell this guy Michael Grade. He's like he's like. Basically, he's broadcasting royalty. Mm. He was Channel 4, I've read. He was ITV. ITV. His father was a somebody. His grandfather basically invented movies in this country, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, did, yeah. Did some amazing uh, stuff. Yeah. And now, this poor guy, Michael Gray, I really feel sorry for him. He's 81 years old. He's, he's basically ending his life, if he dies soon, in the office of censorship of of media, which is what Ofcom is. He's a censor. And he was on... Uh, on Boom Radio, it was on Boom, Boom Radio, Radio yeah. which is not even on TV. And it's a he's, podcast, basically. It's a podcast, yeah. And he's in Joe Brand, who's lovely, lives in my neighborhood, has, has a kid similar in age to mine. And uh, and and he's he's whatever he said, he shouldn't say it. It's like having Goebbels, who is a censor, okay, no, talking no, about. No. I'm not saying he is. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying he's a clerk of the state. He is the official censor. Fine, but he Trump. made some great television back in the day. And yeah. the point of the story is... And I, did I really, not give him credit? No, but the point... No, you did. But the point of the story is, Kerry, surely, yeah. that what he's saying is there's too much reality TV, there's too much, as he says here, people being used to entertain people, as opposed to yes. comedy, drama, yes. educational programmes, documentaries, great television that we had from the 80s, 90s. I don't... I fully disagree with him, actually. I think uh, what he's saying is, you know, when we, we started getting rid of the um, received pronunciation on TV, and I kind of like, understood that at the time, but everyone wanted regional accents and they wanted it. It's got to be about us. I was at a comedy club once. There was a comedian on stage and uh, someone in the audience stopped and went, there's nothing about us, mate. There's nothing about us. <laughs> yeah. I was going, yeah, that's, uh, that's why it's interesting, because you're not. <laughs> oh. um, okay. um, I don't want to know about the public. Uh, there are people who are trained performers and so on. I, yeah, he's I don't, right, I don't but care. so what? He, but he's, he's noticed that, that his, uh, TV has become exploitative, patronising and cruel. Has he just noticed? You know, where's he been? He's been doing this for a and while. What, and what did Everything he have? Uh, how was he involved in that at the time at Channel 4 or ITV? Did he not have some involvement in the television business? I think yeah, he did. Yeah, but he may not have known how much it was good, reality was going to blow up, and everyone's going to be more about us, about us, about us. Yeah, but did he, say, did he say, did he say, I'm care, sorry? I don't, care about, I don't care about your lives, and I don't care about your accents, and I think the public love themselves well, too a, much. Well, there is an econo economic factor here, because, of course, it's a lot cheaper to make reality TV exactly. shows. That's the other thing, and yeah. easier, arguably. Are you also... Well, what's happened with the soaps, you know, like the, the soap operas start, and they, they, at first there's, there's two running for ages, and then they realise... They can make really cheap, rubbish TV, and people want to watch it. Please yeah. don't talk about us. I'm right in the room, mate. Now, <laughs> and then, because he then does actually talk about in. GB News here, he says, or he's asked about, because, of course, we do have the Ofcom. Um, oh, you read right to the end of the story. I do read right to the end of the story. That's right. what I'm known for. I look at the first paragraph. And basically, he says here, we don't want our broadcasters being owned and run for political reasons. And I just want to say very clearly to Mr Grade, Lord Grade, that no-one owns me and vote for Green. 